The QuickTimes Methods Analysis is available from both the Video Timer Pro in the toolbox area, QuickTimes Methods Analysis and Estimating, and also in the uh, Balancing area, again, Toolbox, QuickTimes Methods Analysis and Estimating. You double click on it, and it brings up the QuickTimes uh, Builder here. And the idea here is it tells you down at the bottom, double click on a worksheet line to access the QuickTime Generator. So if I point at line number one and I double click, it brings up the generator here. Now let's look at the data behind the QuickTimes data. Delivered with the Timer Pro installation is a PDF document called the QuickTimes Standard Data Manual. And uh, in here it describes what we've done. If we scroll down here. So this tells you the, um, the development we did for it here. And the uh, key thing is here, in developing the QuickTimes data, we reviewed the data sets were provided by all the major predetermined time systems in the market to ensure that QuickTimes offered equivalent, and in most cases, more coverage than all these other systems combined. So you know the predetermined time systems that are offered on the market. We basically set up a large grid and we documented all of the different times, and then we created the uh, same patterns, we duplicated the, the patterns using pure MTM1. Now here's an example, uh, getting a jumble part and we describe what's in involved in that and then we've got actual MTM1 pattern here, so the constant part to the motion which is reached to the part, uh, notice the value here is zero times, zero time, uh, which is in TMUs here and that's because down here we get variables, so the reach is a variable, this is one inch 2 inches, 6, 12, 18, 24. So these are variable values depending on the distance reached. Reach, depending on the distance reached. Uh, these are the pickup and then the appropriate release here. So what we end up with is a constant part which is made up of the pickup and release in this example. 11.1 that you see right here. The variable which is made up of the distance reached. The total TMUs. The rounded TMUs. Now TMUs is difficult for many people to understand so what we did is we've converted them to minutes and then over here to seconds. So for instance if you're looking for get a jumble part and it's 18 inches away the time for that is 1.08 seconds right here. So whenever I go back to my quick time sheet here and I do get a jumble part 18 inches away and here you can see the value of 1.08 seconds. So every value that we have in our QuickTimes here is fully documented in the backup information that you're provided with.